All right, Todd here with Jeep Speed Shop. Here we have eight speed 101. This is a 845. Now get this, this is, there's a reason for all this. This has got some goofiness, but this is an 845 out of a 300C car, rear wheel drive. The reason being is we've been having a run of issues with transmission valve body computers on getting them reinstalled. Um, so here's the deal. Here we're gonna show a couple valve body computers that are no good. This one, this has been the problem. This is the, the speed sensor actually for the rear, right here, of the transmission. This piece is a guide, like right here. Okay, as you can see in that one, the guide's gone. It didn't get installed right because it's magnetic. I think it goes in crooked and then you bolt it down and break the guide and then the sensor doesn't work. So that's been an ongoing issue is that you gotta be super careful about reinstalling the valve body computer. Now, here's another one. This computer has a broken pin. Actually, the pin is missing. As you can see right there, there's no pin. Look right here, ah, ta-da, there's a pin. So you gotta examine your valve body computers when you get your transmissions that one's not broken. So kinda gotta go over things. We're just kinda going over some highlights. I'm not a training guy, but this stuff's very important. You gotta make sure that this does not get this broken. So on this transmission, we had to buy this transmission for a computer for another guy because the computers are so expensive, but this could, transmission costs like 250 bucks. Now, you remember when you're installing this, you gotta seat it down in there, feel it seated, and then you can put the bolt in because it wants to go crooked. So you gotta be very careful when installing this to make sure you get it lined up, seated in there just like so, and then you can bolt it down. And this valve body is ready to come out because we're gonna take the computer out of it. And so torque specs, when you go to put these back together, extremely important to do it right. You should probably look it up, look at a manual for your transmission on how to do the torque specs right, how to set them. I think we're going with 21 inch pounds. Oh, 71, not 21. Yeah, don't do 21, 71 on the valve body bolts, okay? So that's, and then you gotta go through the pattern. You need to look it up in the uh, repair manual because you are a mechanic now. So you need to look at the torque specs, the arrangement of how it's gotta be tightened, not like on one side, go your way in, or you know, however they specify, probably in the middle, work your way out and torque it properly. Because if it's not torqued properly, it's all kind of like not straight and square. And all of these solenoids are getting hung up these transmissions are not gonna shift good. That's why I tell people, hey, put the train in, drive it, make sure it's good before you take it apart. But a lot of guys, I get it, don't wanna do that because it's out, right? It's here on the ground, it's here on the bench, got it upside down. You're able to do your adjustments and it's easy to work on because it's not underneath the Jeep and it's not dripping on you. I get all that. It's just that when you take these apart and you put them back together, you gotta be extremely careful not to torque these down wrong Get this sensor in there wrong get it so it's crooked or grinding away because we've had now five of them in one week where guys are putting them in crooked and they gotten all ground up and so it's just kind of a quick video on the procedure it's not exactly perfect procedure but it's just kind of a, like highlights of things that we've been seeing as a problem and i don't want problems i want guys to have a good time I want this to work out well i want everybody to be happy and this is just one step of getting some happiness. So, all right, Jeep Speed Shop out.